Hi, Cassandra. Welcome. How are you today? Also, do I have sound? Because we had problem with sound last time. Oh. It's nice to see you too. Oh, you can hear me. That's good. Sorry, I nudged the camera there. I'm on a new stand. I'm having to remember not to nudge it. Hi, Mel. Welcome. How are you? Hope everybody's well today. I've got a feeling my gosh that's got a long delay i've got a uh, almost three minute delay three second delay no it's longer than three seconds well that's strange That's okay, Melody. Enjoy your dinner. And just wait, see if there's any more people coming in. Wonder why the delay's so long. Right, I may as well make a start then. <laughs> it's so strange watching this delay. It's really, really long. Uh, right, where's my cloth gone? That's another thing. There we go. Got some water going in this water brush. Hi, Darla, welcome. I've got a very long delay on the screen today. I don't know why. But at least we've got sound working this time. All right. I think we'll carry on doing some more uh, airs. You know, that's really hard for me to say <laughs> i don't know why it's just a simple word right. liam i've got a very long delay on youtube for some reason is it internet youtube's fault not mine. It's almost four minutes delay looking at this. Yeah, but from in front of washer. So it's not on my end then. 
Well, it might be our internet upload, but... Well, I can it. move my hand and it takes about three, four minutes before it catches up again. It can either be them or it's us. I suppose it could be because weather's bad. Ask your dad if he wants a drunk making before you get comfy. You want one? Please, mine's no kettle. in a base coat of the light colour first like I did previously and then we'll build colour up as we're going along so what's everybody working on today thank you darling Yeah, we seem to be having a lot of bad weather at minute. So I think that's what's in interfering with the internet. Why it's taking so long to... to mm. The delay is almost a minute long, isn't it? Yeah. It looks really strange watching it. <laughs> yeah, it's normal. Yeah, but it's not usually this long. Yeah. It's about oh, uh, two or three be... seconds usually. Either I've upload or it's YouTube. Yeah. I like his books too, darling. Um, I, I need to get some new books though so I can do some variety. At the minute, I've only got the Kirby books and the Ink House. So what I'd like to do is uh, get some Maria Troll. And I like the looks of that romantic country. I think I might get that as well. Bring the camera down a little bit. They do keep you busy, don't they? I do like them. There's a lot of uh, intrigue in it. A lot to keep you interested. Okay, Zoom don't seem to be working. What's up with that then? Oh, right. Because the delay, of course it is. <laughs> oh, this is going to be weird, this. There we go. I think that's zoomed in enough.
move my book over that way a bit. Hopefully my hand will not be in the way and you'll be able to see it. Just using pastels again, like I did on the previous page. Laying a base coat. So what are you working in at minute, Darla? What are you colouring? Yes, um, lots of heavy rain and the internet in UK isn't anywhere near as good as what it is in US. So every time we get the heavy rain, it uh, affects all our internet. Well, I thought I'd come on because I didn't want to go and colour this off screen. And I'd got the urge to colour in it again. So hopefully the delay won't be too annoying for you guys. Well, trying to catch up with your chat as soon as it comes onto my screen. Hopefully, it might clear up the weather while I'm on and it might uh, speed itself back up again with a bit of luck. I do keep going over the lines slightly today. I don't seem to have as much control, unfortunately. But at least it doesn't show too much. Whereabouts are you, Darla? I think I've asked you before, but I can't remember, I'm afraid. Right. Do you get the tornadoes in that bit? You do, don't you?
tell Liz to come and get herself a pizza or something. Hi Bethan, welcome. Uh, so you do get uh, tornadoes there. So hopefully if you gain storms later, you don't get any of them then. And you're working in Jasmine Beckett Griffith's book. Which one, Cassandra? That's the one with all the mermaids in it, isn't it? Is that the work that she does? Usually sky colours in them, don't she? You know, I really should start and write all these down as notes because my memory is terrible. I've got a notebook to write everything down in and I keep forgetting to pick it up. Possibly I need post-it notes everywhere to say pick up book. <laughs> write notes. Stop getting old. Wouldn't it be nice if we could just slow time down a bit so we didn't age so fast? Mermaid, yeah. Oh, some, I've got right for a change. <laughs> oh, I live in the UK, darling. Oh, she paints as well, does she? I didn't know that. Is it night time for you at minute then, Cassandra? Is it your evening time? Yeah, 10 p.m. That's where I thought. Yeah, it takes some getting used to, doesn't it? All these different time zones. It's uh, 10 to 1 in the afternoon here. Right, now he's got a back leg somewhere, but can I find it? No. And is that a leaf from them? Or is it his front leg? Questions, questions. I think it's going to be a front leg. And where's his other back leg? I wonder. Can't see one, so it must be behind this hair. I think I'll do him grey again. Come and put a base on this one. Mm. 
Yeah, lots of different times. And to think before internet, when we only knew about his own little worlds, and we thought everything were the same, and then you get internet, and you find out that everybody's all different times all all around the world. See, growing up, you always think, well, you've got one side of Earth that's daytime and one side of Earth that's nighttime, and that's all you ever think about. You don't think about, well, they might be five hours behind me or they're 14 hours in front of me. You don't think things like that. You just think day and night. Then you come on the internet and you find out that everybody's all st different times. Hi Tracy, welcome. I've got Michelle. Michelle, I have no. Um, um, Have you forgot who I am, Tracy? Because <laughs> I can't see a Michelle in chat. The rain's coming very heavy again, so hopefully the delay won't build up on the screen too much. I'm still looking as though it's uh, almost 30 seconds at the minute. So I'm sorry if uh, I'm behind on chat, as it's taking a very long time to update on my end. <laughs> it's all right, Tracy. I thought I was missing somebody. <laughs> oh, don't be all embarrassed, sweetie. We've all done it. I do it daily. Some more colour over there is back ends looking too light. What's the delay like your end, guys? I hope your delay is not as long as where it is my end. I'm going to have to try and figure out how to use either OBS or YouTube's webcam service because it looks like um, and Google Hangouts is stopping later this year. 
So that's going to be fun, this old brain of mine trying to learn something new again. Oh, well, that's good that there's no delay your end, darling. It's just taken me an awful long time to answer your all because it takes so long for chat to come up. And when I'm watching my hand on the screen, I've coloured a second air before it comes up on the screen, if you know what I mean. It's a very long delay. So y'all have just seen me colour this air here. But by the time it comes on my screen, I could be over here. And then I just see me starting to colour this one. So I've got a very, very long delay. Now, you, later this year, you'll not be able to use Hangouts. It informed me when I signed in on this one today. So I'm going to have to learn to use something else. Everything to do with Google uh, stopping into it the not doing the uh syncing of the pictures anymore uh there's quite a few stuff they stop stopping liam were telling me about it yesterday it does stink it's so e easy to use you don't need a brain to use Google Hangouts to, for streaming with but they're taking it away so now I've got to try and figure out something that I don't know how to use so how are you today Tracy are you okay? Yeah, you can go live with YouTube, but I've never used it, so I've got to try it out and see how it works. I presume they're still using Hangouts for talking to people, but it says on my screen that Hangouts for streaming it will no longer be available later this year. What time this year? It could be October, it could be towards the end of the year, I don't know. It just says it's stopping. I seem to be having long silences as well because I'm waiting for your chat to come through. Oh, I'm glad you're good, Tracy. <laughs> That coffee were lovely. Right. Is he dry enough to come in again? Yes. I want it very dark under here because in being behind this other one. Darken him up. Might have to come in with pencil at a later date to get him a lot darker under there. Oh, excuse me, guys. That coffee trying to come back up again. <laughs> yeah, that's the old reason I used Hangouts from the start because of how many people were having problems um, streaming through anything else. And I thought, well, I may as well go straight in with Hangouts then. 
because I know I won't have any problems. I'm good, Tracy, thank you. Um, the rain's making my body sore, but I've, I'm ignoring it. That's all you can do, just ignore it and carry on, isn't it? But it does get so distracting at times. Uh, do I use Derwent coloured pencils? No, I haven't got any Derwent coloured pencils, unfortunately. I've only got the um, pastel Derwent. Nah, I don't know if this is in screen or not, because I have to wait for it to for it delay to come on my screen. Right, so, yeah, pastel Derwent. They're the only ones I've got. And these are brilliant. I don't know what they like compared to any other, obviously, because I don't have any other brand. But I like using these. They're very good pencils, Bethan. Um, I use the blocks for Met Prim Men Colour Down, as you know. And then I use the pastel pencils for highlights and they work so well together yeah they've got chalky feel um, same as any other pastel uh, they lay down chalky as well but once you use water with them you don't feel the chalkiness no pastel's ever going to be as smooth as what a coloured pencil is. But I like these because they're so quick to put base colour down. Well, thank you, Bethan. Yeah, I like Intents as well. Um, I don't use them as much as what I should, but I do like them. I suppose it's like anybody. Once you find a medium that you like, you use it a lot. People who like to watercolour use a lot of watercolours. People who like acrylic use a lot of acrylic and so on. I've found that I like the chalk because it's quick to put a base down and then I don't use as much coloured pencil uh, on the top. I, do, I just use it for shading. Um where if I did a picture like this from scratch with layer upon layer upon layer of pencil, I don't think my fingers would like it. Um, we have having arthritis. And people do amazing pictures with just pencil, but I can't do it. So my medium is pastels, then pencil on top. I've heard the colour soft are very nice to use. Uh, I wouldn't mind a couple to try and see what they like. And same with the Albert Dioro watercolour pencils. I have heard that they're very good as well. See, there's so many different products out there. And the trouble is, I want them all. That That's the way I am. Um, I get so into something, uh, a craft, uh, for example, with my felting, uh, I wanted every tool that you could you, you could buy, even though I didn't use every tool. I wanted every form of fibre I could buy, even though some of it I was allergic to. Uh, it's an obsessive nature that I've got. Uh, and I've heard people in the colouring community saying that it's uh, full set syndrome uh, with pencils and that. And that's how I am. I have to have everything. If I see something new, I want it. 
but I can't afford it. So I find that frustrating. Yeah, um, markers or super tips are brilliant for bases, uh, same as the pastel. Um, but a lot of books, it bleeds through. So that's why I don't use marker. If I'm doing a single page that I've printed off, then I don't mind using markers. You're do doing a f double page Kirby, are you? Or you're thinking of doing it? You ought to try it out, Tracy. You might find that you like it. Um, the easier, the better for me because I can without um, having to stop uh, it keeps me occupied and as long as I'm occupied I'm good yeah you ought to you to try um, do an old page Um, it's the fluid in the markers though, isn't it, Bethan? It doesn't matter how light you're going, the marker will seep through. It's the paper, it's too fibrous. It's like um, putting water on a tissue. It will just spread and go through. I think it has to be some really, really good paper for you to be able to use marker without it bleeding through. I'm getting chalk where I don't want it again. Look, me and my hands. Pick chalks up and then forget and go and touch the page. It does take less time. Um, if I weren't just colouring this on stream, I'd have had it done in a day. Uh, the base. Uh, then doing the shading and uh, whatever other bits I want to do, like stickles and what have you, then it adds more days to it. But it's enjoyable because you're not taking weeks to do it. Awesome, Bethan. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Um, I made Underwater City. I don't think I've seen that one yet. It's, I've got all the books, but I can't picture the picture. Can't picture which page it is. But I'd love to see it when you're doing it. Yeah, it takes a lot less time than doing it for, with coloured pencils. Like I say, Tracy, I wouldn't be able to do a page like this with just coloured pencils. Yeah, I've got a needed eraser. Um, it's getting quite mucky. Come on, delay. <laughs> Am I in shot? You'll have to tell me because I can't see on my screen till it's too late. But yeah, I've got a needed eraser. They're brilliant, aren't they? <laughs> there we go. It's just come on my screen now. That shows you how long my delay is. Awesome. 
I'll, well, I follow you on Instagram anyway, Bethan, so I can keep up with progress and see how you're doing and whether you're enjoying it or not. I mean, you might take it, try it and find that you don't like chokes. Not everybody does. But at least you'll gear to go and see whether you, it's something you're going to like. Right, let's get some more dark on here because it's, it's drying. And also, if I build up the sh some of the shading with the pastels, and it takes even less coloured pencil for detail. You're just doing the fine points rather than a lot of colouring. Does that make sense? Hi, Kathy. Welcome. Yeah, you learn something new every day, don't you, Cassandra? <laughs> Uh, how many is in me pastels? Uh, does it say? Yeah, 64. Same. And yeah, I found it a lot easier using it with water brush and build the colour up. You just have to remember to let it dry in between each layer and slowly build it up as you want it. And you can get quite a lot of depth with the pastels before you have to highlight with your pencils. Thank you, Bethan. You're going to make me blush again. Hiya, Kimmy. Welcome. I'm afraid I've got a bit of a delay in my end, so it will take me a while to answer you. It keeps speeding up and then it slows down because we're having bad weather. But I've been assured by people in chat that there's no delay there. And so please don't think I'm being ignorant if I don't answer straight away. I have to wait for it to catch up on my end. Some round his neck. And some on the back here. And in that a bit darker. Some around this eye. And across the top of there. Right. And we'll wait for that layer to dry now before we put any more in. <laughs> I feel like I'm being ignorant. See, your chat is coming up uh, almost 60 seconds after you've typed. I'm doing well today, Kimmy. Thank you very much. I just wish all this rain had disappeared because the damp makes things worse.
I'm back on. I'm not back on. That says it's still on. Yeah. I'm back on. I'm back on. Awesome. Sorry about that, guys. The weather seems to have knocked things off. Oh, I thought I'd lost your all then. And what's my delay like? Oh, no, I'm still long delay. My hand hasn't come on screen yet. There we oh, go. Yeah. There's my hand. Oh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> right, I'll go back up chat and see where I've missed. Oh, I'm glad you're finally getting good weather, Kathy. Send it this way, will you? And your hands are more in damp as well, Kimmy. Yeah, so you understand how fed up I'm getting of this rain then. I've not heard of Fabiana colouring books. I might have to have a look into them. Sorry, can't say the surname. Atanasio. That's as close as I can read it. Right, I haven't missed anything important then. <laughs> oh. Well, thank you, Bethan, for reminding everybody about thumbs. Yeah, I, I spend a lot of time soaking my hands, Kimmy. Um, I swear by witch hazel. I don't know if you get that in US. But I use witch hazel in warm water and soak my hands in between colouring. Um, colouring for me is my zone to get away from pain while I'm concentrating on doing colouring I don't feel the pain as much so that's my escape but since the damp is making my hands worse it's taking away me things I like to do so I, have, I do soak them quite a lot Oh, you do get witch hazel. Um, it is. It's brilliant stuff. It work, A lot of people use it for lots of different things, not just um, uh, uh, pain, aches and pains. Right, where were I? Right, I've put shadow on his tail there. Oh, some... Bringing in on this thigh. And same again on the other side. Tuck it under his belly. Under his neck. Back where his head. I'll flare it out. And then I want it in his ears. I've 
move the uh, angle of the camera as well because i noticed on the last video all you can see it's top of my hand you can't actually see what i'm doing so i thought if i move the camera around a little bit you might actually be able to see more of what i'm doing there's no point in me explaining everything if you can't see it Yeah, colour in your escape as well, Kimmy. Yeah, I used to do a lot of cross stitch because counting squares keeps you occupied, it keeps your brain occupied, but then I needed more glasses and got to a point I couldn't see all. So then I went on to doing weaving and felting. And they're all out in my studio because they too there's too much gear and too big equipment to have in house. So I've not done any of that this year yet. Um and a friend introduced me to colouring to try and have something that I could do. And I'm glad she did because uh, this is so amazing. I've never been able to relax as fully as what I do with colouring when I'm uh, weaving or felting. I wish I'd have found this a lot earlier, to tell you the truth, because I find it so relaxing. It's a brilliant angle, is it? Okay, Kimmy. Yeah, I like cross stitch, but like I say, I can't see holes anymore. And to go up more sizes of Ada, it's just not the same. You know what I mean? I liked the fine detail uh, doing um, on, oh, what's this stuff called? Come on, brain. Even weave. I used to like working with even weave because of how much fine detail you could get into the pictures. But unfortunately, you need very good eyesight to work with even weave. Well, thank you, Tracy. I, I, I grew up with nature. Uh, growing up in the countryside, you see a lot of nature. And the colours of things sort of imprint on you. And doing the animals in felting, you, you learn what fur colour of different animals and how many gradients of colour there is because uh, there's not just you don't just see a brown animal they've got reds and they've got blacks and they've got browns and they've got uh, shades of orange and shades of green depending on which way the light is the fur um, so you learn all that with felting so when I come to colour animals that's always in my mind uh, how many different colour variants there is in the fur. Uh, and I do the same procedure with colour, colouring a, an animal like this as I do with felting it. I do a base colour that would be the skin and then I do the 
shaded darker patches of the fur and then I do the lighter highlights and also the colour variants on the last layer I don't know if you've ever noticed, but if you look at a black cat, they're not black, they're dark brown, but they look black because of how dense the fur is. But if you part the fur and look through all the strands, you see reds and browns. There's no, no animal as true black fur because there's no such thing. Good afternoon, Christine, welcome. That's okay if you're lurking, I don't mind. You've got a busy afternoon, have you? I think that's enough shading on him for now apart from that leg we'll wait for that layer to dry <laughs> so you're doing this one next then <laughs> That's good. A lot of the pictures in Colour Morphia, from what I can gather, seem to be out of Animorphia, Imagine Morphia. And I think there's a couple out of Fan uh, not Phantomorphia, what's the other one called? Mythomorphia. But now I want some shading up on this other guy. Want his back leg. Am I still in camera? I am, aren't I? Oh, that's good, Christine. <laughs> I'm glad you're happy listening. Is it's the only thing I know. Uh, all I know is crafting. I don't know anything else. I've not got the brain for numbers or anything like that. Oh, I'd love a drink. Don't, thank you. The only thing I know is crafting and different mediums. And when I say I've tried every craft out there possible, I mean I have tried every craft out there possible. And the trouble is with me is if I find a craft I really like, I get obsessed with it. And I get to where I, I want everything, everything to do with that craft. And as I've got older... I have to find more and more restraint. But I have to find out how each medium works and why it works like that. I can't just pick something up and use it. I have to know everything about it, how it's made, what's in it, how it works. And I think that's 
what makes you a better colorist because you learn your mediums from the base up once you know what's in the ingredients and what works you learn how to use them better just don't get obsessive about it like i do because it's not healthy No, I don't have any Mar Maria Troll books, Cathy. But I was saying earlier on in the video that I wouldn't mind some of her books. Because um, I've been seeing pictures all over the internet on Instagram and what have you. And I do, I do like uh, the pictures I've been seeing. So, yeah, I do want some of her books. I also like that uh, romantic country. I've seen... A few pictures are done of that recently. I, pre I presume it's a, quite an old book. It's been out quite a while. But that don't matter to me because everything's new to me. It don't matter how old it is. Right, I'll leave him to dry and then he wants more colour on after. Right, so if I clean my brush off and we change to grey again i'm going to come and do this one gray like i've done him up here which i've just pointed to and it's not on screen i'm getting worse at that right this one here i want to do same as this one here so i'm going to clean my brush and get all the grays out Oh, that's back on screen oh that's good i like books that you can use uh, watercolor products in um that's what i think that's why i like these books so much yeah melody um that's why i find when you're having bad days with your hands, you can still colour with water medium and it doesn't put strain on your hands as much then. I might have to look into them then if they're not expensive. Like these... Uh, Kirby books. I got five books for six pound because of them being uh, they'd been out quite a long time by the time I found them. And possibly Romantic Country will be the same because they've been out for quite a while. Cheers, Doc. I haven't got any gel pens either. I keep looking at them. Years and years and years ago, I had some uh, souffle. Uh, who made souffle? Hmm. I can't quite remember at the minute. No, it's gone. They used to have glaze pens and souffle, something called souffle pens gel pens i had them some years ago uh and i was card making and i used them that much that they ended up in a ink in them so i can't use them now i just can't remember who makes them it's gonna bug me now <laughs> I 
I haven't completed any book yet, but then again, I'm new to it. So well done, Melody. It must take a lot of perseverance to finish a book from cover to cover. Right, I'll print these back again grey, won't I? See, got distracted again and forgot what I was doing. That grey. I want a dark grey. And I think we want a bluish grey. <laughs> yeah, when you have a bit of extra money coming, you always go wild, don't you? Make sure bills are paid first. If you've got extra bills and then whatever's left, you think, oh, I can just get this and I can get this and I can get that. <laughs> There's that much stuff, though, and it all adds up and you've still not got enough to cover everything you want. What's I'll say? You have just said romantic country, of course it is. Sorry, brains on slow. I think it's we're getting ready for new batteries. <laughs> right, so start with my lightest and put a base down. Oh, no, that's a bit of flower. I've just put grey. I don't know what we're having for dinner today, but my stomach started rumbling. And they've all said they don't want a cooked dinner. They don't want mash and vegetables and all that lot. So I'm at a loss now of what we're going to have to eat. What are you guys having? Anything nice? Well, that's good if it's making you happy. We can all blow money on things we don't need every now and again. <laughs> I don't like cereal, Kathy. <laughs> See, well, you were no help at all, were you?
Oh, you, Christine, you're no help. I don't like fruit. <laughs> Unless it's cooked in an apple pie, then I like fruit. Missed a bit. Hang on, let me just go back up. Oh, you were talking to somebody else. That's fine. Yeah, like I say, I love fruit if it's cooked in pies, but fresh fruit, raw, no, I've never been a fruit lover. I like fruit in yogurts and what have you, and in baking, but the idea of raw fruit, I've never been a fan of. Now, Alex goes mad on fruit. especially kiwi and strawberries. She's the odd one out, actually, because nobody else likes fruit either unless it's cooked. I've got apple trees and a cherry tree. I look forward to the fruit we get off them every year. And then I make jams and pies. Oh, that's nice. Right, leave him to dry now. He's dry so I can come back with another layer on him. And want a yellowy brown this time. That one. That one. You used to have a pear tree, did you, Christine? I've just planted a pear um, last year. We're not had no fruit off it yet. It's not big enough. Oh, I love blue, blue, blueberries and red currants. But I have to get them from uh, shops because we can't. For some reason, they don't like our garden. I think I'm overcrowded with fruits and other bushes, so they don't like it. They like a lot of air around them, don't they? Blueberries and black currants. They need a lot of space. I'm not a mango fan. That's okay, Kimmy. Have fun with your grandson. Do you make jams out of them, Kathy? Yeah, uh, we if we go along railway lines, there's always loads of uh, blackberry bushes. We like go going picking blackberries. This one's an highlight colour. So this one I put where the light it's most, like on the thigh. And then again on his shoulder. Hi, 
Hi May, welcome. How are you today? No, oh, you just eat them straight, Kathy. You ought to make some jams out of them. They're gorgeous as jams. And we'll not be getting no strawberries this year because something's at all my plants. So I'm not happy about that. I like doing strawberry jam as well. So it looks like just being cherry this year. I'm glad you're good. I'm good as well, thank you. Just a bit stiff from all the damp weather. We've had over a week of rain. Other than that, I'm good. You've never made jams? You ought to try. They're very easy. You need to try. See if you can do it. The best thing about growing your own food is experimenting on what you can make with it. Oh, is Christine going? Bye, Christine. Have a good day. I'll see you again soon, hopefully. Right. Now, I want the medium colour. And that'll come from the highlight and mix in with the red. Rest, not red. A dark one black. Don't wonder his chin. That's not quite dark enough. I want a darker one. Try that one. There we go. And his eye across front of there. Um, I'm not sure what sort of background to do yet, Melody. Um, but I always do a background, yeah. I don't think I've ever done a picture yet that ain't got a background. Are you streaming today, May? I think, personally, myself, in my box, a background finishes a picture. I've tried colouring um, every detail in and then walking away and leaving the background. But it still pulls me back and I think it's not finished. So I'll go and do a background. I, I just can't walk away from them. I'll just make sure I'm not streaming over anybody. I've just had some highlights come up. No, the uploads. Yeah, later on, five my time. That's where I thought. So I'll, I shall seize you there. What are you doing today? Hmm. 
what picture? Right, come back to him now, he's dry. I know you got copics. I can hear you jumping up and down and going, I've got copics. Yeah. <laughs> I can hear the excitement in your words. My Instagram name, it's just colour and felt. All in one. Same as where it is on YouTube. <laughs> you're not organised. You don't know what picture you're doing. <laughs> Are you doing something with Copics? Are you going to use your Copics on stream or are you wanting to practice in the background for a while? Medium. That's good. <laughs> I'm a dive right in person, so yeah, I can understand that. Oh, that's too dry. It is how you learn. You is like I was saying earlier about knowing your mediums. If you learn what is in them and what they're capable of doing. And the only way you're going to learn that is by practicing and playing with them. You can do anything you want with them then. And they're very easy to blend, so I don't think you'll have any problems using them whatsoever. And the way you paint, you already know colour theory. So you'll really enjoy using them. There we go, that's that. Just catching up on chat, guys, make sure I've not mi missed anything. You're a practicer, are you, Kathy? That's how you build up what you know it does. How to work with them. Uh, no, I, I've been using just the ink tents in the ink house so far. Um, but I am going to use pastels on one of the pages, yeah, to see how it does. The last picture I put up on Instagram, the one I finished with, um, oh, what's the name? With the giraffe, um, I had a accident with that one. I knocked my drink over on the top of the page and uh, where I'd put all the um, distress ink, it went weird and ran straight through on the other side on the other page. I sat and cried. 
So I'm going to have to order the book again so I can start over. I'm very clumsy, I'm afraid. And it were like my own silly fault. I'd left the book on my table and then went and knocked my drink over. That's okay, Bethan. I'll see you again soon. Some of the lighter one now. Um. Which book was it? Was it? It was the Ink House. Oh. You can understand why I was so upset. I was so proud of the picture and what I'd done. And I forgot to move the book out of the way. That's how I were, Tracy, with the Copics. Um, I had a 72 set. I'm talking 12 year. No, must be more than 12 year because Alex was 14 this year. So it must be 13, going on 14 years since I had Copics. Um, and they ran out just before 2010. And of course, back then, we didn't know that you could buy refills for them. So we went and threw them away as they ran out. And I've, man I've got five empty ones left out of the 72. Uh, when somebody told me that you could buy refills. I wish I'd have known sooner. But like I say, that were right back in 2010, so I can't turn time back, I'm afraid. I can't get them all back. You live and learn, as they say. Okay, Cassandra, bye. Have a good day. Yeah, I wish I'd known back then, May, that you could get refills. Oh, sorry if you can hear my stomach rumbling. My stomach thinks my throat's been cut. Hi, Pamela. Welcome.
Yeah, I've got five left out of 72. Like I said, Tracy, back then, I didn't know you could get refills. So as they uh, became empty, we threw them away. And it wasn't until I were down to the last five that somebody said, you do know you can get refills for these, don't you? So I kept them five and I haven't got around to getting refills yet because, uh, frankly, I can't see the point of getting refills for five when I, I want all of them again. You know what I mean? Right, which one were I working on? This one, weren't it? You dried out again. There we go. No Kenny today. I wonder if she's okay. I hope she is. Yeah, I got set A. The they see the good colours in set A. Yeah, hopefully she's having a sleep in. She was suffering from bad headache again yesterday. So uh, that could be why she's not up yet. Thank you, Pamela. Yeah, I hope she's okay as well. It's no worse than having an headache you can't get rid of. Sim done. I need more colour on this one. Can you still see okay, guys? Because, like I say, it delays that long on my screen. I can't tell until it's too late whether I'm still in shot or not. No, I wasn't talking about Susie. I were on about Kenny. Um, I don't think Susie's been too well. She's not been on online for over a week. I hope she's uh, well again soon. Oh, I've gone out of a line again. Melody, to answer your question, yes, I'll definitely be doing a background because I've just gone over a line again. There we go, that's better colour on him. No, it's not good, is it? Um, I know she were going back to the doctors about it, about the headache. I 
I think May bought the Chow ones, Melody. Right, now I want the, yeah, he's dry, darker one. Yeah, I thought I were right. I thought it was the chow that you'd got me. There's no no difference between them apart from one holds a little bit more ink than the other set. Um, and it costs you a lot more for sketch. So in my opinion, it's not worth getting. As long as you've got refills. You okay with chow ones? No, uh, I think. The other sets are just filling gaps, but you can mix your own colours between them anyway. They blend together so well. The other sets has mainly been brought out for people who don't want to blend or don't know how to blend to get different colours. I think set C has got quite a few pastels in though, so you might want to get them separate or instead of getting the whole set if you use pastel colours of course not many people do oh my God. Yeah, there's, I think there's, they've just added F, haven't they? Uh, there were A, B, C, D, E on the sets. But I think they've recently added F. Don't hold me to it, though, because I could be wrong, knowing my memory. Yeah, the sketch has got all different sizes, haven't they? Um, even right up to the very chunky size. Like, uh, you know, the highlighter markers, you can get that quite wide, aren't they? And long. Ske you can get sketch ones in them as well. So that's why there's more of them about. And there's a lot more colours as well in sketch than what there is in others. Not just not sure how many there is though, but I know there's an awful lot. Oh, May's answered you. <laughs> yeah, the reason there's so many, though, Tracy, is because uh, illustrators use them. Even people who uh, design cars, 
they all start on paper for the designs they uh, and they use um copics so anything that comes from a design on paper whether it's uh, an household appliance or uh, cars uh, architects anything like that they use copics so that's why there's such a wide range of colors I don't know, may I have heard that? I thought they were going to build some more, t build up more colours for Chow. Yeah, there's a, a system where, well, there's two systems actually. There's one where you put your pen into a um, spray nozzle and it's attached to a tube that you can put to a spray can that's got air in it and it blows the colour from the um, pen uh, to do spray painting on, on your designs and then there's also a machine version where it blows air electric um, and you can use a pen or you can use the refills to put the in the paint canister and use on the electric system um, they're the only two ones that's available, either can or electric. It, the can is the same as the air you get that you can clean your computer with, your keyboard, you know, that blows air out. The cans are similar to that, but with more air in. And also the can will only spray uh, one capacity of ink where the electric one you can do light layers up to thick layers because you can vary the uh, the strength of the air that throw, flows through the ink See, I'm a wealth of knowledge, aren't I, when it comes to mediums. Like I said, I get obsessed and I have to research everything. It pays in, a, in some ways, but in other ways it makes you sound a bit big-headed and people tend to go, oh, there she goes again and runs away. So, yeah, I have to be careful of our talk. It's all right to you guys because you guys has got the same interests and you uh, you understand. But when you're talking to Joe Bloggs in Street about it, they, they they tend to think you're a know-it-all and they don't like it. Have a good day, Kathy. Out to see you soon. Got that sort of grey on that little guy. Right, now back to the browns. 
of them out at weight. And Tim now put a base down again. Slow down, stop rushing, you can keep going over that line. Bye, Tracy. Have a good day. I'll only be on for another 10 minutes myself. Bring some more colour under his belly. His leg. I think next time when I come on we'll do some mushrooms again have a difference of colour Uh, the pastels I'm using are similar to Mungio, but they're called Inscribe. Let's see if I can get them out without chucking them all over. They are those. Very cheap and very easy to use. Okay, Melody. I think I paid six pound, British pounds for uh, 64 colours. So they're very cheap and cheerful. But very easy to use. Yeah, they're very good for how cheap they are, aren't they, May? And you don't have to use just straight colour from the block either. You can take two blocks and mix colours and get a totally different colour. So you haven't got just 64 colours. You've got an infinite, in, infinite amount of colours. And some more colour in that bit. Now we've got to wait for them to dry.
Thank you, Pamela. I like, I like keep going back and building more depth in the colour. Um, I don't know if you saw the other side of the page. Let me make my cup. This is what we did on part one and two. I've still got a long delay on my screen. It's only just brought the book on. Thank you, Pamela. Right. I've got just over five minutes. See if he's smaller in don't want to over wet it in longer Thank you, Pamela. Do appreciate all the feedback that I'm getting. Makes me blush, but I do appreciate it. Thank you very much. I think Kate's on at three o'clock. Um, I can't remember what the full name of her channel is. I think Kate's colouring even. Yeah, that's it. Kate's colouring even. Yeah. So I think she might be on at three if she's well. You're on at five o'clock my time, aren't you, May? So I best get, a, get food done quick so I can sit down and enjoy rest of the streams. The Thank you, May, for putting that link up.
and get some more colour on this guy before we end stream. Because I don't like leaving him looking all patchy. There we go. All right, it's half past two now, so I'm going to say bye to everybody. And I hope you have a good, good day for the rest of today. And I'll see you in the next stream, whoever's streaming. May I look forward to seeing what you're colouring later. Hopefully, you're going to be getting them copics out. So, take care, everybody. Bye, Melody. Bye, Pamela. Bye, May. Bye, Darla. See you all again soon. <laughs>